Radio Irish, that's what you're listening to with Sean McCarthy here now and we're just about to pick up the phone to the gorgeous and talented Anya Fury. Yes, Anya Fury. Now, let's see if we can get Anya on the phone to talk about her new album, which is called Cross My Palm. And Anya's got a brand new album out. Now, there's a dream. Hello? Oh, that's lovely. Is that Anya Fury, is it? No, it's not Anya. It's her mum. Anya, well, we were told 4 o'clock Irish time. It's 3 o'clock here now. Oh, gosh. Well, I'll tell you, 4 o'clock Irish time. She uh, should be back here in a half an hour. I'm just going to phone her now, but we were told 4 o'clock. It's only 3 o'clock here now. This is Sheila, uh, Anya's mum. The clocks went back at the weekend. Ours didn't. All right. You know what? You're right. So well, what will I do? I'll phone back in an hour then. Yeah. Yeah, if you can follow, call back in there, it'll be brilliant. Or she should be back in about 40 minutes anyway. All right, Sheila. Are you Finbar's wife? Yes. You're the gorgeous Sheila. <laughs> Sheila Fury, <laughs> honest to goodness. Uh, well, we're, we're here on Radio Irish speaking to Finbar's lovely wife, Sheila. And, of course, Finbar over here in the United States at the moment, gigging and uh, promoting his brand new CD. That's right. And what is it like, Sheila, to live with the man who makes so many people smile with his music? Uh, I know, he's great. He certainly is. Um, no, it's lovely to see it. And he loves, he loves playing and he loves writing the music, you know. And it's, it's, it's great to, be, you know, to see that all taking place and all part of it. And you must be very proud, too, of your daughter now with her brand new CD out here in the United States. Exactly, yes, it's great. It's lovely to see her having that out and, you know, I love playing it. And, you know, it's always on here. And Fimber, so they're playing away. And you're the mysterious lady now that supports the whole lot of them. How do that's you... That's it, I'm the one that's just here and does it, picks up the pieces and does all the bits. <laughs> They must be an awful bunch with their fiddles and their whistles and everything. How do you manage to... And is there a musical bone in your body, Sheila? Unfortunately not, no. I wish there was, but uh, I just enjoy listening to it and, you know, encouraging it and watching it all taking place and taking shape. And Isn't it a wonderful thing, too, that the world has the Fury family? And listen, Sheila, thanks very much for talking to us. We'll call back in an hour and thank you. And listen, happy St. Patrick's Day to you. And to you, too. I hope you all have a great time over there. Thanks very much, okay, Sheila. thank you. Bye. Bye. That was Sheila Fury there. God bless her. Honest to goodness. And, of course, with the times going forward here in the United States, but not changing in Europe, this is the period of time, of course, at the early start of spring, that the United States is four hours behind Europe and not five. So, as it stands, it was my mistake to be calling in the first place. Isn't it funny how things work out? Right, so let me nip off now and uh, have some refreshments here at the studio. You're listening to Radio Irish at RadioIrish.com and we're expecting to be speaking shortly to the gorgeous and talented Anya Fury, whose father Finbar Fury is over here in the United States promoting his CD and sure isn't Anya just after releasing her debut solo CD. It's called Cross My Palm and it's on Cosmic Trigger Records. For more information, of course, www.myspace.com forward slash Anya Fury. And you can also go to anyafury.com. Right, here we are an hour later now. And do we have a line out? Right, we had our we had our bit of refreshments there. Now let's try Anya again. Hello. Hello, Anya. Yeah, hi, how are you doing? Hello, Anya. Anya Fury, goodness gracious me, and I had a great chat with your mother earlier on. <laughs> the hour went ahead here in the United States and of course it doesn't catch up in Europe. Anyway, how are you on your fury? My goodness, and a brand new album out, 12 lovely songs on Cross My Palm. Anya's new debut album here in the United States. Now, uh, the album includes two written songs by your brother Martin and one by your father Finbar Fury. What's your what's your favorite song Anya from the album and give us a bit of gist into why? 
like my brother's songs, Martin's songs, just because um, I spent a good 10 years with Martin's band, Bohinta, so, and all the songs were written by him, so anything that's written by him, I automatically love it anyway. So anytime I do anything, I always ask Martin, has he any spare songs, you know? So that would be definitely, Water's Edge is beautiful, everyone seems to like that one. Just, um, it's it's a different feel to the folky songs, obviously, it has a bit of a bluesy touch to it, but um, um, Martin actually does a version of that himself as well, which is very different to my version, but um, I just I, I enjoy it. And the one I did with Dad, I like his one too, Hail Rain or Snow. Um, just basically because I've never recorded anything with my father and it was just something we we wanted to get done, you know, at some stage. So it was, it was an honour to do that with him. Now, this is your debut album, Anya, to be released here in the United States. How exciting is that for you? Oh, I'm really excited. I mean, the last time I was in America, I was working in a bar in Boston and singing in the nights in different bars around Boston and that was great crack but um, that was nearly 20 years ago now 15 years ago anyway um, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to coming over I don't know when that's going to be but it's very exciting just the last couple of years I've had this niggling want to go to America so now I have an excuse I can't wait and there are thousands and thousands of people waiting for you to come over now Anya what was it like growing up into such a a musical family try and put it in a nutshell for us because we really wouldn't know what it would be like waking up as a child on a Sunday morning and going into the living room and your daddy is Finbar Fury I mean, you know, looking at old photographs for memories, you just see we'd be sitting around with a, a tin whistle or a harp or just having a little session singing away. And if we were in school concerts, that would always be a good support if we were playing, you know, singing in the concerts and everything. But I, as a child, you never, you know, realise any different. I suppose it was more when I was in my teens and they were big with Sweet Sixteen and Greenfields of France that I kind of acknowledged all that kind of side of things. But it was lovely, and it is lovely. Do you think it gave you now the confidence to go on and to engage in a musical career, or was that a choice that just came naturally to you? Yeah, well, it came naturally. We were singing all our lives, but I was very nervous singing until I was about 10 anyway. I, I used to be really terrified going on stage, but I'd do it anyway. But um, it was always a part of, you know, I, I feel so at home when I'm standing on the stage. I mean, I'm a very quiet person as such, but on the stage, you, you're just a different person. Any of our family, we're all involved in the stage in some sense, whether it's theatre or music. And uh, I'm sure that was given, I mean, my granddad was a musician and my grandmother was a musician. You know, we've, it's, it's always been in the blood to be on the stage, all my uncles and everything, my cousins, we all, we're all into it, you know, so... Now, you mentioned there you and your brother Martin have worked closely before with the group Bohinta. How's that going? Is Bohinta still alive and well? Well, Martin is with a band called the High Kings at the moment, and they're doing very well in America. They went to number two in the Billboard charts last year, and um, they're they're playing in, in Dublin next week in the Olympia for a week. But um, so he's he's kind of stuck with that at the moment under contract with the High Kings. But we are going to do another Bahinta album as soon as that's possible for him. At the moment, he's not allowed to record anything with anyone else really at the moment. But uh, it's definitely not over. Um, we'll definitely do something again when when we both can. Of course, Martin with the High Kings, their major success. Anya, what's it like to emerge now as the first Fury woman, as a female yourself, to pursue a solo career in music that has really been dominated by the men? You're the first Fury woman now to really hit the, the world stage. Well, it's, it's fantastic. I mean, I actually, to be honest, I never thought of it like that because, as I said, my cousins, my cousin Marianne and cousin Michelle, they all sing, and Tara and my sister Katrina... So I've never thought of it like that, but yeah, it'd be, it'd be great to put a foot forward for the, the women in the family. Um, I'm, I know my dad would be very proud of me anyway, and my uncles, so um, they were all very supportive, you know, I gave them all the CD and they were all very supportive, so we'll just uh, see what happens next, you know, it'd be great.